The LFO New Pro is a very interesting phone, but it lacks official updates. Luckily, community is taking up and the very first custom ROM is available since a couple of months now. It's the Aragon ROM developed by Skeleton, which is a very popular developer for LFO devices. And I decided to give you a little tutorial on how to flash the Aragon ROM onto the LFO New Pro. And to make things more easy or simple for you, I created an all-in-one package which you can use to easily flash the custom firmware on your device. So the download link to this all-in-one package is located down in the video description. Just download the file and you will get this zip folder. Just unpack it and you will get this folder, enter it and you will find the folder you pro tools. And in this one you will find a ADB folder and a install first folder. So first enter the install first folder and here you install the Python 1, the Python 2 and then you also install the Qualcomm driver and after that you install the flash tool which is in this folder by executing this setup file. So once you have finished all of this you can go back to the ADB folder and uh, then you open up a CMD window on your Windows machine and here you simply um, drag the ADB folder into this window to enter um, I'm sorry you have first have to enter CD and then uh, drag it into the window and then you hit enter and once you did that, you are in the ADB folder and you can execute the ADB tool inside of that. But before you are doing that, you need to switch to your phone. All right, so for the next step, we need to enable USB debugging on the LFO New Pro because we need to use ADB. To do that, you open up your settings, go down to system and here you tap multiple times onto the build number until it requests your pin. So now I entered my PIN and I confirm and now I am a developer and now I go back and now you see the option developer options here. Tap on that, go down and then enable USB debugging and tap OK and go back home. So what you want to do next is to attach the iPhone U Pro onto your computer and then it should recognize the phone and automatically start installing the drivers for it. Um, if you are running an older version of Windows, below Windows 10, the USB drivers for um, ADB probably won't be installed automatically. In this case, you need to install them manually. Um, the most simple process to do so is to use minimal ADB and fast boot. Just Google for that and install it. So once the ADB device is recognized correctly, you go back to your CMD window you prepared previously and here you enter adb.exe and then devices, just like that. Then you hit enter and now you see that the ADB device has been recognized but it's unauthorized. Now when you look at your phone you will see this message allow USB debugging and here you say always allow from this computer and then you hit OK to authorize this device. So now we can use ADB on the Elephone U Pro and we enter adb.exe and then shell. And now you get this comment prompt from your phone and here you enter reboot. EDL. And once you hit enter your phone will shut off and enter into EDL mode. So just ignore that window that just popped up, that's from my virtual machine. So if I go into my device manager now, I will see this entry Qualcomm HS USB QD Loader 9008. So that's basically bootloader mode. And now we are ready to flash the custom ROM. So to flash that, you open up the flash tool that you installed previously and you will find that in your start menu. Let me just look it up here, QPST. 
and in this folder you open up the QFIL tool. So this is how it looks. Looks a little bit complicated, but it's not too hard to use. So you can see it already recognized my device here. So all I have to do is to select the flat build under build type and then select programmer, click on browse and then you navigate to the place you extracted the custom ROM in, which in my case is downloads. There you enter the ROM folder and there you see this ELF file, select it and click on open and then you will see it here in this file path. Then under download, you hit the Lord XML button, double click on raw program unsparse, and then another prompt will open up, which is um, showing the patch zero file, double click on it, and now you are already ready to go. So just hit the download button and the flashing process will start. Now in some cases, like it is happening for me right now, um, the flashing process won't start for some reason. In this case, simply wait until an error appears and retry again. So to try again, I just pressed the power button of the phone until it boots again, wait for it to boot and then do again the adb.exe shell command and then enter again reboot EDL wait until it's in EDL mode and then I open up again the flash tool under QPST QFIL and as you can see it again recognized it automatically I select again flat build and it already saved all the paths so I don't need to enter that stuff again and I try to flash again using the download button and as you can see this time it works now it started the flashing process and all I need to do now is to wait until it finished flashing. So now the flashing process has finished as you can see by the finish download entry here and uh, don't worry this little error message here doesn't mean anything you can simply ignore that and since the flashing process is finished we can close this tool and all the other stuff we have opened and move back to the phone. Since the flashing process has finished, we can now unplug the phone from the computer. And now we are still in EDL mode. To exit it, you simply press the power button as long as uh, the booting process starts, which takes a few seconds. So there we go. And you can ignore this message. This is just because the bootloader is unlocked, which is of course a security issue. It will disappear automatically and now it will start to boot and during the first boot it will also do a factory reset of your phone so don't worry if it reboots multiple times so this is the second boot now now it will start resetting the phone there we go and then it will reboot again and this is the final boot process. Now we are getting into the process of the first real boot. So now it's booting up the Aragon custom ROM. And there we go. Now we can set up the phone and start using it just as usual. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and I wish you a lot of fun with the Aragon Custom ROM on your Elephone U Pro. Thanks for watching. See you soon and bye bye.